Hey, what's up, y'all? Alex here in Toronto's Koreatown District on Bloor Street, right across from the Christie subway station. And I'm at the intersection, of course, of uh, Bloor and uh, Gray Street, which becomes Christie Street, or as we like to make fun of it, as Mr. Christie Street. You know, uh, the famous manufacturer of Oreos, Ritz, Chips Ahoy cookies. I'm not really into that stuff as I was as a, like, like four. But yeah, it's a, it is a beautiful sunny day. There's not even a freaking cloud in the sky. Everybody is out here enjoying the nice, beautiful weather. It's a gorgeous afternoon. Even though it's a little bit hot out here, it's 25 degrees Celsius on this Friday, July the 26th, 2024. It's just after 2.40 p.m. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little walking video here on Gray Street, here in my buddy Liam's area. Like I literally just sent him uh, like a couple of pictures because uh, I actually know where he lives, but obviously I'm not gonna dox him. I thought he was at work, but uh, it's like he isn't. They said I'm weird because of <laughs> his area. Well, he really, well, he likes to tease people, especially me, but uh, yeah, Liam, I'm going to be seeing you tomorrow in the gang as we're going to Niagara Falls. Haven't been there since, uh, wasn't even that long ago. I went there last month, but I, you guys remember, I went over to the American side for like 90 minutes and I walked back. <laughs> it's going to be a great day, but I got to get up a little bit early though. In fact, I already plan on getting up extremely early, middle of the night on Sunday. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something I've done before, but was reluctant to do get up early and catch a sunrise because it's going to be amazing this weekend clear blue skies nothing to worry about so it's going to be a great weekend to go out especially tomorrow to niagara falls and then i don't know where i'm going to go sunday morning to catch a sunrise but i wanted to make a walking video here on gray street for a while it goes all the way to dundas last week i done uh, shaw street north of bloor uh, I also done uh, Crawford Street, and these again. These are these are so, these are the, uh, somewhat tree-lined streets full of these uh, century-old homes here. But yeah, shout out to Liam. He lives in this area. I'm not gonna bother him though. I could I could have gone and uh, give him a little uh, holler, you know. I'm not going to do that, so I'm just here doing my own thing. Again, Liam likes to tease me, so I'm trying to do this <laughs> in retaliation. I mean, he's ninja. I mean, that's it. Well, uh, yesterday I had a pretty uh, long day. I went to uh, Brampton. I filmed a couple of uh, bus rides there. Also encountered a very nasty prick of a driver doing the 501. Wasn't really anything about me though. Uh, I posted a video as I was leaving home of uh, of this idiot on the 501 refusing to let us on. We didn't do anything. Why? Why? Like, why the hell did she not let us on? We've been waiting for like ten freaking minutes. And in the video, I didn't even say anything to him. The pa there's a f angry, frustrated passenger in front of me, right? Because uh, it's a long story. I'm, I'm really not gonna get into that. But yeah, I filmed one walking video while I was in Brampton. And then I was going to go to downtown Brampton. Okay, which I did. I was going to make a walking video. But I didn't have time because I had to, I had to catch a GO train uh, back into uh, Toronto. I barely made it. Just in time. Because uh, I was time to go meet Cousin Richard at the Bay and Bloor Cineplex to watch uh, the anticipated Marvel movie Deadpool Wolverine. And let me tell you, it was amazing. The, 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 the dialogue was freaking hilarious. Let me tell you, man. If you haven't seen uh, the first two Deadpool movies, I definitely recommend uh, you, you check them out featuring uh, a great Canadian actor, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. Man, it's a great movie, man. It's my first time at the theaters uh, since Wakanda Forever came out two years ago. And my second time there since the pandemic. And here is Harbor Street, it's another nice looking uh, residential street. By the way, we are just west of uh, downtown.
And this here is uh, Bickford Park. I didn't even see a sign for it. Yeah, it is hot, but at least I got my uh, my bottle of water with me. Yeah, I had a pretty good, pretty eventful day in Brampton. Countering that idiot son of a bitch driver in the 501. And, uh, yeah, that's why uh, society has gone down the fucking drain. Nobody gives a shit. They don't have regard for people. Like that guy. I was reading some of your uh, comments, uh, because I know you guys are commenting. As soon as I would get the video up, sure enough. But, uh, well, yeah, honestly, like, like, what the fuck is wrong with people? And if it wasn't for the third bus, I would have missed the train. I wouldn't have time to do my walking video, but also... I would have been late uh, for a meeting Richard because our showing was at uh, 3.40, but overall I was able to make the most of it. And I was going to go back to Brampton today so I could make a, so I could film one more bus ride and make my walk around downtown Brampton, which I couldn't get to do. But screw that, it's a little bit, it was a little bit late. And plus I have to get up early, uh, like seven, because I'm meeting my friends, Panda, Henry, so Pan's gonna drive us to Niagara Falls tomorrow. And then Sunday, I'm gonna be up even, even earlier, even earlier. I'm gonna try to get up around 4.30 and try and catch that sunrise. I mean, I've, I've gone up early, like middle of the night twice, but uh, both times it was like cloudy as hell. Rest assure you, it's gonna be a beautiful day. A beautiful day, that's for sure. And seeing the city in the wee early hours of the, of the morning on the quietest day of the week. Or sorry, quietest time of the week. Because there's barely anybody out on Sundays. But I've seen Henry done his fair share of uh, sunrise live streams. So I don't know, maybe he'll be out in the wild again. Who knows? Like he always is. And uh, as I said, 2024 has gone by so freaking fast, we're already at the end. As I mentioned, today's the 26th. In only a few days, it'll be uh, August. August, for Christ's sake. It's crazy. It won't be long until freaking Line 5 opens. I already got my reaction video. I already got my reaction video prepared. If uh, freaking Metrolinx uh, announces an opening date. I think this is the Palmerston neighborhood room right now. I know for a fact we're not far from uh, uh, Bathurst Street. And I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. I wanted to go to the Old Mill neighborhood for a while. I was just there on uh, Saturday, having a nice uh, brunch buffet with my family at the historic restaurant. I was thinking of doing a walking video in the area. Later on, the downside is that I'm gonna have to join the the rush hour crowd on the subway, but I would, but uh, since I'm going all the way down to a Dundas, I'd have to uh, hop on the streetcar anyways and take it to Dundas West. I mean, I was at Dundas West Station yesterday too because I was transferring from the GO train to the uh, TTC subway. It was my first time uh, doing that. A little bit of pain in the ass since I have to go on the street, but hey, they've already started making a. Uh, a second uh, exit and entrance to connect the subway station with the uh, GO train up express station. What the hell, we have a little bit of traffic here. Oh yeah, this is also a one-way street. One way. As we're coming up to College Street, the college. Oh, look! Now, now there's people getting out of their cars. What the hell's what the hell is happening? Oh, the post van. What's all this? Uh, Holy shit. Anytime you want me to get up, this. There's no Must have been a freaking problem with the post van here. Oh, guys. 
Quit getting pissed here. Angry driver. Wow. That's insane. Let me go over to the other side. I'm not going to film them, obviously, but... Let's see. Hey, he's trying, look, look, he's trying to squeeze his way through. Wow. Wh what the hell is happening here? With her uh, van. I don't see any issue. It's just one of these... Uh, it's just one of these uh, freaking moments where it just happens. Look, all of a sudden, all because of a post van. Oh, look at this. Private drive residence. Okay, now she's off moving. Wow. <laughs> it must have been frustrating. So just stop in the middle of the freaking road for no reason. No freaking reason. I tell you, man, sometimes the Toronto drivers are somewhere else or something, especially these freaking delivery drivers from Amazon, AliExpress, or whatever, whatever. At least, uh, yeah, that's the thing because these, uh, these residential streets here, they, they barely have enough space for like, for like anybody to park, right? I bet you most of these drivers coming down here don't even live in this area. That's just my, uh, that's just my speculation. Oh yeah, now we're in the Little Italy district. Little Italy. Last month I was at the Little Italy festival. Or actually it was called Taste of Little Italy with Liam Sapan. And uh, I saw, uh, saw the great uh, Pierre Poliev there making a speech at the eastern uh, stage. It was quite interesting to see and the fact that he might be our next uh, Prime Minister of Canada. There's a 506 Carlton streetcar heading all the way to Main Street Station, all the way to East End. All right, so we're doing good for time. So we're going to continue all the way down to where the street ends at Dundas. We're right across from the uh, Trinity Bellwoods Park I don't think I noticed this. Looks really cool. With a, you got a heart shape full of uh, English, Italian phrases. Hmm, I kind of wanted it to go over to uh, Eden, like the, the Eden Center area. I haven't really uh, been there in a while. But I also want to get a little something to drink. Well, I mean, I got my water bottles. So I don't know. I don't know. Last time Liam bought me a Timmy's iced coffee. I'm not one of those people that are actually addicted to coffee. <laughs> I mean, I love it though. I mean, well, specifically iced coffee. I think, I think, I think regular hot coffee is a lot uh, stronger. I mean, I don't. I definitely don't mind that. I just find iced coffee to be a lot better, especially in uh, on a day like this. Oh, well, this church here seems to be restored, eh? This is the Saint. Francis of Assisi uh, Parish Roman Catholic Church built in 1914. There's the CN Tower, as Liam always calls it, the Tower. The Tower. I went there two years ago, tomorrow. We have another park here. Yup. Huh, looks very cute.
Oh, this is behind a fence. See that all pets must be on a leash. Yep, he is. I don't know, I, I got a bit of time. I got lots of time. What if I go take the streetcar to the Eden Center, hang around there for a little bit to then go to Old Mill, but I'm pretty much going all out of the way. It would have been, would be a lot better if I just hop on the streetcar. It's gonna, it's gonna take me like three minutes to get to uh, a Dundas West anyway, then it would just take the subway over. It's like Jane and I would just walk, do my thing. It's now uh, 3 p.m. We're almost. Because I left my place around 2. Oh, this is a uh, francophone, uh, francophone school, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, who my dad said was one of the greatest prime ministers uh, of the in uh, history. Canada, of course. But uh, he was definitely not a menace like his freaking dumbass son, you know. Yeah, Justin doesn't seem to be carrying that legacy on pretty well. Um, sadly, no squirrels today. I mean, I, I mean, I saw one as I was leaving my place, but you think there'd be a lot more around here? No, whatever. All right. Here's the beginning and end of Gray Street. Coming down to Dundas Street West. I know Trinity Bellwoods is literally around here somewhere. And I was just there uh, five days ago. Getting free ice cream and learning about the news that old man Joe uh, has dropped out of the presidential race. There's a streetcar stop, or like right here, so. I would have to wait right here for one. All right, yeah, guys, so I'm gonna uh, end this video off right here. So, uh, hey guys, uh, it's a rush hour now. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already as always stay tuned for more videos check out my average as well i'll see you guys on the next one stay cool stay hydrated drink lots of freaking water and shit and uh see you guys all on the next one take care adios peace out and bye bye